Hello and welcome to The Rise and Fall. In today's video about 10 reasons why the company Sun Microsystems struggled after being one of the world's leading companies in its industry and later being acquired by Oracle Corporation. Please make sure that you subscribe and like the video if you want to see more interesting content like this. Activate the bell to never miss a new video. Sun Microsystems was a prominent player in the tech industry, known for its innovative products and cutting-edge technologies. Founded in 1982, the company quickly rose to prominence, offering a range of products including servers, storage systems, software, and computer workstations. Despite its early success, Sun Microsystems went bankrupt in 2010, ultimately being acquired by Oracle Corporation. In this video, we will explore the reasons behind the company's downfall and what lessons can be learned from its journey. 1. Competition from larger tech companies Sun Microsystems faced intense competition from larger tech companies such as Microsoft and IBM. These companies had more resources and were better equipped to invest in R&D, marketing and sales, which allowed them to dominate the market and capture a larger share of the customer base. 2. Failure to adapt to cloud computing and virtualization Sun Microsystems was slow to adapt to the shift towards cloud computing and virtualization. This allowed other companies such as Amazon and VMware to establish themselves as leaders in this field and capture a large share of the market. 3. Heavy investment in failed or underperforming projects Some Microsystems made several large investments in projects that either failed or underperformed. This drained the company's financial resources and left it with limited funds for future investments. 4. Over-reliance on proprietary technology Sun Microsystems relied heavily on its proprietary technology, which made it difficult for the company to compete in a market that was rapidly moving towards open-source solutions. 5. Slow decision-making and execution processes Sun Microsystems was known for having a slow and bureaucratic decision-making process. This made it difficult for the company to respond quickly to market changes and execute new initiatives. 6. Lack of innovation and inability to keep up with market trends some Microsystems was not able to keep up with the pace of innovation in the tech industry. This resulted in a decline in its market share and competitiveness. 7. Even difficulty in attracting and retaining top talent Some Microsystems faced difficulties in attracting and retaining top talent, which hurt the company's ability to innovate and compete in the market. 8. Insufficient attention to the needs of the customers Some Microsystems did not pay sufficient attention to the needs and preferences of its customers. This led to a decline in customer satisfaction and loyalty, which contributed to the company's financial difficulties. 9. Diversion of resources into non-core businesses Some Microsystems diverted resources into non-core businesses, such as storage and software, which were not as profitable as its core hardware business. This drained the company's financial resources and weakened its overall competitiveness. 10. High operating costs and declining sales some Microsystems faced high operating costs and declining sales, which put significant financial pressure on the company. This combined with the other factors listed above, ultimately led to the company's bankruptcy. In conclusion, there were several factors that contributed to the bankruptcy of Sun Microsystems. The company faced intense competition from larger tech companies, failed to adapt to the shift towards cloud computing and virtualization, made heavy investments in failed projects, and relied too heavily on proprietary technology. The company also struggled to attract and retain top talent, pay attention to the needs of its customers, and execute quickly on new initiatives. These factors, combined with high operating costs and declining sales, ultimately led to the company's bankruptcy. Here are three main key takeaways that any company should consider. Competition from larger tech companies can be a significant threat to the success of a company. Companies need to be able to adapt quickly to changing market trends in order to remain competitive. Companies need to make sure that their investments are aligned with their core business and that they are paying attention to the needs of their customers. Thank you for watching our video. Please make sure that you are subscribed and like the video if you want to see more interesting content like this. Activate the bell to never miss a new video.